Make Poverty History, what was that? A t-shirt, a line, some kind of wishful thinking? Well, I'm here in Africa and I want you to know something is going on. There's a new mood on this continent, new spirit in the people, and some real, actual, hard steps have been taken to end extreme poverty. I have seen, in the last few years, 15 million more Africans going to school because of the Drop the Debt campaign. That's real and significant. I have seen nearly a million people on antiretroviral drugs. HIV AIDS was a death sentence two years ago. It's no longer a death sentence. And these drugs are getting out there on bicycles and motorcycles. It's quite incredible to see. Bed nets, this incredible thing, number one killer disease in the world is malaria, death by mosquito. Well, it's going to be rid to the rubbish bin of history. Already five million bed nets on the continent of Africa. Thanks to you putting on your marching boots, getting going, getting serious in Germany, Deine Stimme, Make Poverty History, One Campaign in America. Seriously, we can do an awful lot if we lockstep, you know, if we, we don't want to hold hands, but we will, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We will walk with each other and we are going to get things done. This is our generation. We have the power to change the world if we work together. And I've just been seeing that literally with my own eyes this week. So please do not falter because I'll tell you what, the politicians will falter. There's lots of other things they want to spend the money on. And though it's hard to imagine what could be more valuable than the life of a child, a man and woman in, in this continent that's so fragile. Uh, but you, you have to tell them that these people are your priority, that your humanity is at stake, their humanity is at stake, and that history, like God, is watching this moment. This is our moment, and we're going to stop the hemorrhaging of human life that is the continent of Africa. We're going to tell a whole different story of noble, royal, entrepreneurial people who are fighting back themselves fighting back and who will win in the war against extreme poverty if we give them the right weapons to win that war and that is shouting loud and never letting the politicians off the hook all right thank you